Besides Funko Pops, I am an avid Funko Soda collector. And if you guys don't know what those are, they're collectible characters that come inside of a can. You know the character, but you don't know if you're gonna be getting that chase, which is always super fun to try to hunt for. And they've been around for a couple years now, so today I wanna take a look at my entire collection of them. Let's go check out the shelf. Okay, so I have just about 640 sodas in the collection, and this is my first shelf shelf of them here. And now I do apologize that we're not really going to be able to see everything perfectly, but there is about 70 or 80 of them in this section alone. Actually, I might be able to take this off of here. I'm going to be honest with you guys, this was a dumb idea. Uh. Why did I bother? Why do I bother? Well, here's what I'm working with, everybody. We have a pile of sodas, and I guess you can technically see them a little bit better now. And since we've got them down, I might as well show you some of my favorites, like this blue metallic Dustin Freddy. Also going through here, we've got like Scarlet Spider is a really, really cool one. I'm liking that a lot. And the metallic Greedo is really cool too. Oh, and check this one out over here, guys. It's another Freddy. This one is actually the social media Freddy that I got while I was in Disneyland. I know. Kind of a crazy spot to get one, but Funko happened to be there at the same time, and that's where I snagged this. And now I'm trying to do a little bit of looking around through here to see if there's anything else. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The last Ronin. This is just such an amazing one. I mean, come on, take a look at him. And if you guys want to see the chase, I mean, come on, look at this. He's like a sketch. And so let me just do a quick pan, then I'll clean these guys up and we'll get on to the next shelf because this isn't the only one that got knocked over. It also happened to be the one underneath. I've got to do a bit of cleaning up here too. Alrighty, we are all set up again. I also lowered the shelf by one so I could see it a bit better if we ever want to do another collection video in the future. Oh, and while I was doing that, I actually made a little bit more more room here as well as here. So maybe I'll move these guys down eventually, but for now, let me at least show you which ones they are. There's actually three chases up here. The Joker as well as both of these Power Rangers. These are the Blacklight versions, which I think actually look really amazing. Then on the side here, we have the normal and chase Tapatio Man. And then taking a look at this shelf here, again, we're not going to be moving this, but there are some really interesting characters here. And now I might have moved them around a little bit so they're mixed together. So I'm just going to try to show you my favorite stuff here. Like right here in the front, we have some super limited Freddies. The I Heart New York, as well as the Rainbow Batman from Detective Comics Freddy, and this one you're limited to 500 pieces. It's just such an interesting one that you could only get at Fun Days a few years ago. He's even holding a tiny soda can. Oh, and now another one that I really enjoy is the Fantastic Plastic Character Auto, one created by Funko, and I just love how this guy looks, especially with that tiny little eight ball on the back. Do you guys see that? It's pretty cool. And now if I go like this, he might stand out to you. Do you guys see those ears poking up in the back there? It's actually Bugs Bunny as Superman, one of the tallest sodas, or if not the tallest soda ever. If you're wondering why he's so tall, it's actually because the soda has removable ears so he can fit inside. I mean, come on, it is so cool. And if you're wondering what the chase version is, it's actually flocked, and I would love to see what the ears look like flocked and separate. And so if you guys want to see them from the tops of their heads, here they are, like a big variety of characters. I see like Felix the cat back there and funny enough all the way in the back corner we actually have the number one soda of 2023 you guys voted for him it is the unmasked as well as masked version of spider-man 2099 and they really are a cool set now this next row down they are a little bit more spread out so it'll be easier to see them for sure and in the front here we actually have it a bit more organized i mean this shelf was like that but uh, of course because they all fell over i couldn't fix it so quick but anyways going through these here we've got like this Vision in the front where he's got the chase in common. We also have like Sue you over there. That one is Grumpy Bear. We also have the Misfit Elephant. And as you guys can see, I have them in pairs, which really does look nice. And I think one of my favorites in this section is actually the Gingerbread Jack Santa, just because it's got a bite out of the top there. And then he's a little bit distraught. I mean, I would be too if somebody took a chop out of me. And another really interesting chase is the ghost version of Obi-Wan Kenobi. I just love how this thing looks, especially because the common 
version is a completely normal one of him. And now this last one that I want to show you here on this shelf is actually Patrick Bateman, the bloody chase version. I love how this thing looks, especially with the axe being covered, as well as the clear jacket, which is actually kind of squishy, and then the face with that big smear on it. And so there we go, everybody. That is the first shelf complete. Probably about 200, maybe 150 sodas. But now hold on. Before we continue here, I remember a little while ago, I saw something about an update with YouTube, where if I say subscribe, it'll light up below me. If you guys are seeing this right now, could you please comment about it? If I say like or subscribe or like or subscribe or subscribe and like, it should be lighting up. I don't know. Either way, let's get back to these sodas. And I think for this shelf here, we should probably start at the bottom. And so here we are, everybody, rock bottom, where we've got the three liter sodas. And this here is a good amount of them. And you may notice there are a couple doubles. Those are actually the chases. So for example, the Willy Wonka's down here, they're different. And then the Oogie Boogie, one of them is glow in the dark. I just don't know which. You may also notice that holographic Darth Vader here, which is actually, I opened one of them and I got that chase, which was really cool to see and I was able to get one of these like just opened a normal version of Darth Vader later on it was pretty cool and I think I got this one for like 30 bucks so you can't complain uh, but anyways just some really fun stuff going on with these ones I like them a lot now digging into the bottom over here we have some interesting stuff with some more Freddy's as well as some chases that I can see right off the bat like I'm trying to point some out here what's a good one? Oh, these two down here the turtle Freddy's I actually have all four of them but the other two are up on the other shelf and now you may notice in the middle there that golden Skeletor. Now that one there is actually just an exclusive version and it's not a chase. Let me see if I can get it here. Here he is everybody, the golden version. I believe it was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, something like that. Oh, and speaking of fun chases, we have the Orange Sock Monkey by Paul Frank. I love this thing and I don't know where the normal Sock Monkey is. He's uh, somewhere around here though. Oh, and now here is another interesting pair of sodas that I've got. It's actually Mike Becker and Brian Mariotti, the founder and former CEO of Funko. These both were actually given out at Blacklight Battle, the exact same time that I got that 500-piece Blacklight Freddy. And what I love about these two is that they're actually holding tiny little sodas, like how Mike Becker's got the big boy, and then Brian Mariotti has that tiny little Huckleberry Hound. Which I do actually happen to have in the collection. I believe he's closer to the top, though. I'll show you in a bit. And now really quickly, let me do a bit of a pan on this bottom shelf here so that way you guys can take a bit of a better look because again, we can't talk about every single soda today. Now going a row up, we have some other crazy stuff like the Batman Who Laughs as well as Ash Williams right behind that. And I'm gonna be honest, this shelf is kind of crowded but I do wanna show you a few like this one back here which is actually Bizarro and funny enough, this is the chase for Superman which I honestly think was such a creative idea. Now let me see if I can put him back in there without dropping anything. I think I'm good. <laughs> oh, now that is another one that I really enjoy and he's calling me right now. I gotta show you guys. It's the Emerald City Comic Con exclusive Green Batman. Yeah, take a look at this one, everybody. So, so cool. And I love that classic soda look where they're kind of cartoony. It's like one of the first ones they ever created. And now if you guys are unaware, sodas actually started back in 2020. So about four years ago now and they've created so many since then. Now, I'm actually a little bit farther back here because there's a really bad shadow if I get any closer, but there is some amazing stuff on this shelf if you guys take a look. And I'm going to zoom in as close as I can to show you guys pretty much everything here with all of the Freddies at the bottom, the masked ones, as well as the candy corn versions. Then above that... We've got some really classic ones, and these are a lot of the ones that actually released in 2020. You guys can also see some of the Scooby-Doo ones. We've got scooby Dumb at the top there, Spooky Space Kook. I'm loving that Willy Wonka. We've got Crusader Rabbit, both Chase and Common. And for the longest time, that was actually the rarest soda in my collection. I'm talking about this one right here, and I believe it's limited to like 500 or 800 pieces, something really low. And now let's back up again so I can show you guys what we've got going on on the right side here. We've got like Mighty Mouse, another Freddy, Mojo Jojo, Popeye, and then at the back here, we have a lot of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The top row there actually came out of a soda cooler where all of them were black light and then it's kind of like comic book looking version. And then these three down here a little bit lower, actually this pretty much entire row besides Yakko there, they were all just kind of separate ones that I purchased over the course of like, you know, a few months. And now going up to the next shelf here, I feel like these ones are my favorites in the collection because they are pretty much all from 2020. And I gotta say, a lot of them really 
really do look amazing. Like the Bob's Big Boy, actually one of the first ever created. It was actually this one here, Batman, as well as Skeletor, and there was a few others as well. I think Barney and uh, I think uh, Fred and Barney, I think they were in there. Either way, it was super close to the beginning. And taking a look at all of these ones here. Oh, these are some of my favorites over here, guys. Check these ones out. We've got the four different Huckleberry Hounds. I think the only one that I'm missing is the purple version, and I think that's it. And then we've also got like Rosie the Robot. We've got, uh, what's that, Great Ape over there, Jabberjaw, ooh, Rat Fink, as well as that pink Rat Fink back there. And then if you look in the top left corner, that's a lot of the Christmas figures. And below that, we've got a bunch of ad icons. And actually, if we go below that, there's even more ad icons. And of course, everybody in the bottom right corner, we have that classic Freddy. Oh, and also something odd that I wanted to point out to you guys was this one here, the Mr. Monopoly. And if you guys were to guess what the chase is, no, it's not glow in the dark. It's the fact that there's a little bit of glitter in there. I know, I know. I was just as surprised as you were when I opened that up, but hey, still a cool chase. And now everybody taking a look in the top here. A bit of a problem because you can't see all of them very well, but I am not going to be taking these off today. I just want to show you like if I can a few of them inside of here. Like one of them, for example, is the completely translucent Frodo. Look at how cool this is. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get to them, but if you look closely back there, you could see three tiny little hats. And that's actually from the Donald Duck 3 Caballero Soda, where there was two different chases. I'll pop a photo on the screen. Oh, and then in the front here over to the left, we have Webley, both the Chase and Common. And if you guys don't know, this is actually the Funko team that they sponsor in Everett, Washington. I've been to a game before, and it is so cool that they actually made sodas for their mascot. Oh, now hold on. I almost forgot about these two over here. We have Accelerate, the Chase and Common from Ben 10. And now the last thing that I want to take a look at is way down here over on the other side. We have a mini soda cooler, which was actually gifted to me by K-Dog and Fish. They're a store here in Canada, if you guys don't know, and I love how on the side, oh, you can actually see those original characters. Let me see if I could show you there. We've got, of course, the Batman, as well as Big Boy, and then, like I mentioned, we do have Fred at the bottom there. And I'm pretty sure they double on the other side. Yeah, it looks like it. But anyways, what I have inside of here is a couple random sodas. We actually have two of the Chase she which is really cool, as well as a sealed candy corn Freddy Funko as werewolf, and it's got a bit of a ding in it, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this guy. And now going back to the She-Ra really quickly, I wanted to show you guys something interesting, because it is the chase, there she is, looking amazing. Let me see if she stands. She doesn't stand great, I'm gonna be honest, but if you lean her, it's no problem at all. The main thing, though, that I wanted to show you was actually inside of here, because if you take a look at it, it doesn't have the chase number for the pog on the bottom. It actually says AP, which means it's an artist proof. It's where they would test out the colors on a character, and I've got to say, this is just such an amazing one to have in the collection, especially because the Chase alone would be one of my most expensive sodas ever. And so there we go, everybody. That is all of the sodas in my collection. With, of course, a few hiccups along the way, I also noticed that I've got an extra Oswald on the shelf, so it saves a spot for another new one. But anyways, everybody, that's going to do it for today, and I hope that you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you tomorrow.